Well, it's been quite a while since I made a film in the veggie garden. And the reality is that because winter is basically upon us here in Tasmania now, I haven't been doing much in the garden. The last part of autumn has been quite wet. We've had a lot of rainy days here where we live and days where the sun shines like today have been rare and things are not growing. So there's been not a lot of incentive for me to get into the garden and do anything. But today my job is to collect the few remaining pumpkins that are around and to put them into storage. And this year I've come up with a new method of storing my pumpkins, a new location, and I thought I'd share that with you. Because where you store pumpkins sometimes is a bit of an issue, particularly if you have a fair crop like I do. I've got probably uh, approaching 30 pumpkins, or I haven't really counted them, but something in that vicinity, maybe more, and they take up quite a bit of space. So finding an appropriate location for them is sometimes a bit of a challenge. But first you might remember that this patch here, I had some uh, tower potatoes on it. And after that, I had a volunteer pumpkin come up and I allowed it to grow. Now, it's pretty crazy growing a pumpkin in a greenhouse because pumpkins like to spread out and they need a lot of space. I basically contained it to this one bed and there is, I think around four pumpkins here, and I think I've actually used one already because it was a little damaged. So there's about five pumpkins have come off this one vine in the greenhouse. It came up a little bit later than I would have otherwise planted, so I've left them longer here. I could have probably picked them a month ago, but I'm a bit late. What this really illustrates is that if you are in a situation where growing pumpkins outdoors is a challenge, it's just too cold, growing in a greenhouse is possible. The idea would be to put some trellises up so that the vines can actually climb a little bit. You're probably not going to grow as many as you would outdoors because pumpkins take quite a bit of space, but five pumpkins off one vine, it's a good contribution in terms of food. This looks like a, quite a nice sized pumpkin. And if you had two or three of those growing in your corners, you could get quite a few pumpkins in a reasonable sized greenhouse. So certainly something to consider. Anyway, I'll pick these. See, it's really a lovely pumpkin, that one. This one's a little smaller. This one, yeah, another smaller one there. And there's one down here that uh, hung over the edge. As you can see, the vine is still green, and that's one of the reasons that I have delayed picking these. The vines outside have long died and dried up, but this, because it was later, because it's warmer, has kept growing longer. So that really induced me to give them more time. But really, they need to be picked because the next thing I want to do in this patch is to plant more potatoes. This year I'm going in ground again, but that needs to be done in the next week or so. So here in our outdoor pumpkin patch, as you can see, the vines are long dead. When I collected the bulk of this crop, which is now like six weeks ago or more, there was some young pumpkins that had only just set and they're very, very late in the season. I didn't have the heart to just put them on the compost. So I've left them to see what would happen. And so today I am collecting those and look, they're only little fellows. I don't know what they'll really be like. They won't be really great pumpkins, but we'll take them. We'll use them for something anyway. They'll make some soup or, you know, they'll be used in some way so they're worth collecting. There's quite a few of them around. Samuel, I think there's some up that corner. If the season had been longer, these would have grown into something more significant, but the season was coming to an end, so they are what they are. There's a big one. 
Yep, bring it. So that's quite a few little pumpkins and yeah. extra to the main crop. So let's take these and put them into storage and I'll show you what storage I've put into place. Where I grew up in northern New South Wales, the old farmers used to say that the best place to store your pumpkins was on the roof of the pigsty. Now, I understand that logic in that climate because the winters were dry and sunny. So the pigsty, they, on the roof, they got plenty of sun. They generally stayed dry. And being in the pigsty, the rats probably didn't survive to actually get to them. I don't have that available. And here, of course, outdoors, the winter is wet. It's been raining and it's going to continue to be wet and cold outside. So out in the weather isn't an ideal place here. I've often uh, resorted to the floor of the sunroom and I do have some there at the moment that have been damaged in some way. The stalks broke off or they have some skin damage and so they need to be used quite quickly. So those ones are readily available then to the kitchen and we're also reminded of them by seeing them. But I also needed somewhere else for the bulk. So this year I came up with the solution. I realized I had some space here in the woodshed that was out of the road that would allow the sun to get to them. And that's right up there. So up here, what I've created is a net. I've used some bird netting, uh, a double layer of bird netting. And because I have the sun coming in, it keeps them nice and dry. The air is able to get around them and they're out of my road. Thankfully, I built this woodshed so that rats can't get into it. And so I think this is going to be a pretty good storage place. And I really like the idea of actually having them on the net where the air can get around them. They're not actually sitting heavy on a piece of wood or a floor in that way. And it's, it's soft. And so, yeah. This is where we're going to add more to it. I think it'll take the weight. Samuel's a bit nervous about it. He, he feels um, somehow threatened by the fact that he can see the load from underneath. And they might fall down. So, Samuel, we need to bring the rest up here. Two ones on, I'm out of it. All right. Steady and Betty. It's gonna thank fall you. on my head. So that's the year's pumpkin crop, excluding those that, uh, of course, are in the sunroom that need to be used first, and also those that we've already eaten because we've actually eaten a few already. And I think, like these are a bit damp here where I put them, but because the sun's coming in nicely, they'll dry out quite quickly and will keep quite well. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this because while it's, you know, it requires me to come up a ladder to access, the advantage is that I'm able to visually inspect them from below when I'm here getting firewood, which of course is quite regular over winter. Hopefully this video has been of some use to you. I'll be back soon with more.